Hi all, welcome to the new session. In this session, we will learn this activity completion and restrict access option available in Moodle. As I said earlier, in this Moodle platform, we can monitor the students' progress. We can monitor whether the students are assessing the activities offered by teachers. Also, there is another option, restrict access option. We will see how to get this activity completion report and how to enable this restrict access in Moodle. Go to first, you need to go to your Moodle course page. So this is the course page. Here you can see in all the activities, you can see an activity completion box appeared there and you can see a tick mark there. So it will show you if a student completes the activity, a tick mark will appear. It will appear as blank if a student was not accessed your content. In this way, you can monitor whether a student accessed your course or not. So this is the use of this activity completion box. So for enabling this activity completion box, first you need to enable the same in your course setting. In our first lesson, in which when I described how to create a course, I told you we need to enable the course completion option S. So you can see here completion tracking. We need to enable this completion tracking S. Then only that boxes will appear there and click save and display. You add an activity. So here we add an online exam as assignment. So I am editing that option edit, edit settings. You can see this activity completion option in that activity. You can see here. So click that activity completion option. So you can see many options in this completion tracking box. First one, students can manually mark the activity as completed, which means after seeing a video, students can tick to address that he or she viewed that activity another option is that you can you have you can have an another option do not indicate activity completion but this one is very important show activity as complete when conditions are met if you select this option students can't do the marking manually it will show marking when the student accessed your content automatically a tick will appear there when the student accessed your content so for that you, you need to set a condition show activity as complete when conditions are met so the condition is one student must view this activity to complete it or you can put another option student must submit to this activity to complete it or student must receive a grade to complete this activity so as this is an assignment activity i wish to give these all these options that student must view student must receive a grade and student must submit to this activity to complete it then click save and display now you can see in students page that solid square will change to dotted line now we can move to students page for this. So this is a students page. So in, in the students home page you can see. So all these blocks are solid you can see. But here only a dotted line appear which means you can't put a marking here but it is able to put a marking here like this. But it won't work here so for completing this process student needs to view this assignment submit the assignment and receive the grade for this assignment then only it will be marked as complete so this is the option which is available in Moodle to monitor the student's academic process this is very useful Moodle allows you to generate activity completion reports so that you can 
very effectively monitor the student progress so this is the my personal model page for my PG student so here in the edit setting option for or edit code setting option in the edit code setting option you can see a more option here you can see a more option click that one here you can see course administration and select reports select reports select activity completion so it will generate activity completion report so select activity completion so you can see the different activities i have assigned to students and from this report you can see how many students completed those activities so in this way you can monitor the progress of student and you can download this report as separate excel format also so here you can see download in spreadsheet form so click download in spreadsheet form so this is the report generated here you can see students name and the status of the activity completion and also you will get the idea on which day the student completed the activity so you you will get a detailed report regarding the activity completion so in online platform rather than giving this physical attendance it is better to give attendance based on this activity report if a student completes the activity it is better to give the attendance so if a student fails to submit the activity mark the status of student as absent so it is possible in moodle lms it is not possible in any other lms platform so in this way you can effectively monitor the progress of student other another tool is that it also offers you restrict access option in moodle we will see what is this restrict access option so this is my personal moodle page in this electronic course in the unit one I go two modules and I use this restrict access option in my second module you can see here restricted not available unless the activity module one contents is marked complete so this is very useful those students who have completed the first activity first activity which means module one contents can access this module two contents those students who haven't completed this module 1 contents can't access module 2 contents. In this way, you can provide restrict access option to a particular activity. So, this is very important and this is very useful. So, in this way, you can restrict students to access a particular activity. Now, we will see how to add this restrict access option in a particular activity. For that, go to your personal Moodle page. Here, I wish to add a restrict access option in this activity, in the assignment activity. In the way, only those students who have completed this book activity can access this assignment activity. For that, you need to select edit setting options. Edit setting options. You can see restrict access option here. So, here. So, for for that first act you must enable the activity completion first then select restrict access here default it is none so add a restriction here so these are the options available so this one is good activity completion so it requires students to complete or not complete another activity so i am selecting this activity completion Now, you have another option, student must. So, you have to select which content. So, day one content. So, this is the book activity, day one content. So, select that one. Must be marked complete. So, now it is completed. Student must match the following activity completion day one contents must be marked complete if you want to add another restriction you can add click 
after that click save and display so this is the thing you need to do in the restrict access option you need to provide a condition here i used activity condition option then click save and display so when you go back to your moodle course page you can see now online exam restricted not available unless the activity day one contents is marked complete so those students who have completed the day one contents day one lesson contents can submit the assignment here so this is a very good way to restrict students to access from a particular activity and this case is not possible in any other lms platform hope you understand how to generate this activity completion reports and how to use this restrict access option in your moodle activities thank you